Hey, welcome back everybody. Um, in this video, we're gonna have a listen to the uh, expander of the WYSICOM MCR54 in its compatibility mode with the Sennheiser EW500 G4. So I have a whole bunch of uh, Sennheiser transmitters, uh, like the plug-on transmitter, and uh, I really, really like them, but I bought the MCR54 because it's a four channel true diversity receiver um, and eventually I'm going to end up buying WYSICOM transmitters um, but I'm very curious how well I can leverage my existing investment in Sennheiser transmitters using the MCR54 as the receiver. So for this test uh, what I've got set up here is my just my Rode NT1 microphone uh, with an XLR cable feeding into my zoom recorder here and um, then I'm going to also switch between the uh, MCR54 receiver, which is coming in here on channel one, and the Sennheiser EW500 G4 receiver, which is set up here on channel five. So we'll unplug the XLR cable, and we'll plug in the plug-on transmitter, and we'll have a listen to how they sound. Now, I'm going to uh, kill two review, <laughs> two uh, YouTube videos in one stone here, because I also received the Betso Bowtie antennas, uh, I haven't opened the boxes yet. I really want to take a look at these and see what uh, what's inside. Did a lot of review uh, research on them, and they seem to be a pretty good deal. So, uh, first things first, let me show you just really quickly how to set up the uh, Sennheiser Compander compatibility mode. It's very simple, much like you would uh, anything else. You click on the menu. Uh, you go into the setup mode. The compander can be set for each individual channel, which is great. So if you have a couple of uh, WYSICOM transmitters and a couple of Sennheiser transmitters. It's no problem at all. Uh, I'm just using one uh, of the receivers right now. I've got the other ones powered off, which is another great feature of the MCR54. Um, it means you don't have to use your batteries. If you're only using one microphone or two microphones, you can turn the other ones off. So just like all the other menu setups, uh, you hold it down, go into that channel. Uh, mine's already set to the compander mode and uh, you hold down select to uh, select it and then you can just use the up and down arrows to uh, select the mode you want. Sennheiser is the mode for uh, the EW500 G4s. Select and hold down, it's saved and you'll see channel one now has come on um, because I have the uh, plug-on transmitter already transmitting um, and you can see that uh, it's receiving um, the signal strength from it. Uh, it will also intermittently receive the battery uh, strength from it as well so you can also check the battery strength as well. So um, let's pull off the uh, XLR cable and attach the plug-on transmitter and then we'll <laughs> unbox a Betso and see um, what's in there but you can hear how it sounds. So. I'm going to edit this out in post, don't worry. Okay, so now we have signal coming in on channel 1, which is the WYSICOM, and channel 5 on the recorder, which is the Sennheiser. I've tried to set the trim roughly similar to both, um, so that there isn't a huge amount of difference. Just very quickly, the Sennheiser trim is set at line level at 20, and the uh, WYSICOM is set at line level at uh, 23, just for a reference so I get them equal. So um, I realize I have the bag very, very close to the transmitter. I have set the transmitter on its lowest possible power, but you know what? While we're reviewing these Betzos, let's just move this over here to be here. XLR cable, don't need that anymore. And uh, let's have a look at these bow ties. Okay, so I'm going to grab my handy uh, Peter McKinnon knife. It's not a Peter McKinnon knife. And let's open this up and have a look inside. So that's the Betso bow tie. Hmm, how'd they get the name Bowtie for that? Take a look at that. Have a little bit closer look here. So, it's an aluminum antenna. It's pretty durable. 
feels durable. And you have your BNC connector and a quarter 20 here on the bottom and uh, pretty basic, very lightweight and uh, nice and small. So I think the design of the Betso is meant to be primarily bag mounted, uh, but of course you can always mount these on uh, stands as well. They're omnidirectional antennas. Uh, there's no uh, particular gain addition or, or subtraction from them. So if you do have them on antennas and you have a long cable run, you're going to lose a little bit of you're going to lose a little bit of gain from the antenna. Um, so what else does it come with here in the box? One of the things I liked about when I read about these that they give you all the parts and pieces you need. Um, this is your attachment to um, to clamp to a bag. It's um, it will mount to any bag. It looks like that has a pretty sturdy sidewall. Uh, my Orca has um, I think it's metal reinforcements in there. So I read a lot about this, and people with Orca bags tend to tend to really like this. It works well in those Stingray bags too. And uh, yeah, so we're we're using the plug-on transmitter there, and it's coming through on. Uh, both our wireless systems, so I'm just switching back and forth. Uh, hopefully it sounds sounds good. And you get a couple of antenna connectors here. This one is a BNC to SMA, so that's what you're going to use in the bag. You attach that to the WYSICOM and then that to the antenna. And I guess that's if you have a receiver that uses BNC connectors. So, yeah. Nice little package. I got two because uh, I'm going to use both antennas for the diversity antennas on it. One on each of those SMA connectors. And um, I'm not actually going to do a range test right now, but um, my next video, one of the reasons I got the uh, MCR54 is because I was really interested in you know, just how much extra range I could get out of a good receiver like that compared to the Sennheiser, which is only a single uh, antenna receiver. There's no diversity in that. So uh, I am going to range test, walk walk range test this in the, my next video. And I will do it with both the whip antennas on, and I will also do it with the bow ties. And see how well the bow ties perform, how much extra distance you get out of that. So. Uh, if you want to see that uh, video, subscribe and um, you'll get notification of when I post that video. So hopefully that's enough audio sample that I've switched back and forth uh, to hear it. I'm not sure you'll hear much of a difference on the YouTube, but um, I will also the YouTube. I will also put links in the descriptions uh, below to the um, unprocessed wave files right from the recorder, so you can download those. Um, those files yourself and have a listen to the difference between the expander of the MCR54 and the Sennheiser EW500G4 and you can judge for yourself how compatible it is and I'd actually love to hear your thoughts and feedback so um, please do leave your comments below and um, let me know your thoughts on the sound and uh, how you think it how you think it sounds anyway that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one bye